Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are and no matter the time, it's devotion time with Miss T. Hooray! In our devotion time today, we are going to read the story of a woman who met Jesus. She met him at a well. Does that sound familiar to you? If it doesn't, then you find out today as we read the story. The story of Jesus meets a Samaritan woman. And you can find that in your Bibles in the book of John chapter 4, verse 1 to 42. Jesus had been making disciples in Judea, and his disciples baptized people. Now Jesus had more followers than John the Baptist. Jesus began traveling back to Galilee. He traveled through Samaria and stopped in a town at the well. Jesus' disciples went into town to buy food. While Jesus was at the well, a Samaritan woman came to get water from the well. Give me a drink, Jesus said to the woman. The woman was surprised. You are a Jew, she said. Why are you talking to me? I am a Samaritan. Jesus said, I asked you for a drink. You don't know who I am. If you did, you would have asked me for a drink and I would give you living water. The woman was confused. Sir, she said, this well is deep and you don't have a bucket. Where do you get this living water? Jesus said, Anyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks from the water I give will never get thirsty again. In fact, the water I will give will become a well inside you and you will have eternal life. Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit, but the woman did not understand. Sir, she said, give me this water. If I am not thirsty, I won't have to keep coming to this well to get water. Go get your husband, Jesus said. I don't have a husband, the woman replied. Jesus knew she was telling the truth. He said, you don't have a husband now, but you've had five husbands. Jesus was right. I see you are a prophet, the woman said. Maybe this prophet will explain something to her. She said, the Samaritans worship here on a mountain, but the Jews say we need to worship at the temple in Jerusalem. Jesus said, soon you will not need to be in either of those places to worship God in spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know the Messiah is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus said, he is talking to you now. I am the Messiah. The woman left and told the people in her town, Come and see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? Many Samaritans believed in Jesus because of what the woman said. They asked Jesus to stay with them and he stayed for two days. Many more believed because of what Jesus said.
they told the woman, We no longer believe because of what you said, for we have heard for ourselves and know that this really is the Savior of the world. Amazing. This random woman met Jesus at the well. I can bet my last penny that when she left the house that day, she had no clue she was going to meet the Savior of the world. When she met Jesus, Jesus struck a conversation with her. Jesus didn't start by saying, I know you're a sinner. Oh, I know you've done all these bad things. What did Jesus do? He asked her for water. It's amazing. Jesus is teaching us how we can speak to people about him. We could start by talking about the obvious things around us. Ooh, the weather out there looks very green today. Or, hmm, I like the weather, it's quite sunny. These are things that we could say to strangers that we don't know when we want to have a conversation about Jesus. And when Jesus asked her for water, she was surprised that Jesus was speaking to her. And do you know why? In those days, the Samaritans, that the people from Samaria where this woman was from, didn't speak to the Jews that those from Judah, those from Israel. Do you remember the story of the good Samaritan, the man who helped the one who was attacked by robbers on the road? People were surprised that a Samaritan helped a Jew. And that's how surprised this woman was because she knew that Jesus was a Jew and she was a Samaritan. So she didn't understand why Jesus would be speaking to her because they never spoke to each other. Now let's talk about it. Is there anybody in school that nobody talks to? It's like an unspoken rule. He's the reject of the class or she's the reject of the class and nobody speaks or talks to her or him. And then one day you're seen speaking to that person. I'm sure everybody will be shocked. <gasps> Why are you talking to the rejects of the class? Oh no. Jesus was not ashamed to speak to someone who everyone else felt was different. Jesus loved everyone, irrespective of what they had done in the past or even what they were about to do. So when Jesus spoke to her and she responded, their conversation went on to the point where Jesus revealed to her who he really is, the savior of the world. And I can tell from this story that this woman was waiting for the Messiah. She was waiting for the one who would help them and save them from sin. And finally, she had met him. There's no one too poor or too dirty or too sinful that we can't speak to and share the love of Jesus with. Jesus wants us to share his love with everyone around us, no matter what they look like no matter what they act like. And just like Jesus, when we tell others about his love, they might also go and tell other people about the love of Jesus. And soon the whole world would know that Jesus is our savior. So don't be scared. You might have been the one who's done bad things in the past, Jesus spoke to the woman even though she had done bad things in the past. Jesus loves you and me no matter what we've done before and he wants to give us new life. He wants us to go on and do the things that will make him happy. But the first thing we must do is love him and follow him. 
Let us pray. Dear God, the story of the Samaritan woman is an amazing story because she was different, but Jesus spoke to her. Sometimes we might feel different from other people around us. We might feel like we don't match up and don't measure up. But Jesus, you love us anyway. And you speak to us through your word. Help us to listen to what you have to say. And then help us also to reach out to the world around us, to those who feel different and those who don't feel like they measure up. Help us to share your love with them just the way Jesus did with the Samaritan woman. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion time. Remember, there's no one too small or big or dirty or clean or rich or poor that we cannot share the love of God with. Jesus loves the whole world and everyone in it. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.